Hey, it's me, Ivan, from The Breaks, and you guys have been awesome and sent me some Christmas gifts, so um, I've got a couple different packages to open here, I figured I'd open them on screen. We have, for example, our Super Mom Secret Santa from Timothy Rogers at 6000 FTW. We've got a little Happy Holidays from Hookah Mike. We've got one from Jason Waddell. And then this one is from Caleb Walters, but I believe it was actually purchased by Brad Sir Bear Killer from him for me. So let's start with that one. I think that one's a portal. I'm pretty excited. And I finally found my pink scissors. I've been missing for like three weeks. Oh, I see cards. Nice. Blake Portal's finest and no Valor and did I hold that up properly. I think I could be wrong, but that might be the parallel version of the, the Valor base card. And we've got this beauty right here, Valor Relic card, Blake Portals from 2014, Tops Valor. That's sweet. I know that we always complain about, ooh, it's the size of a thumbnail, but the color on that is fantastic. It's from the, uh, I guess that's a shade of blue-green, but really nice looking card there. So, I'm happy with that as a patch, Tops. Oh, do you know if it actually was worn by him? Who knows? Flawed. But, so, well, Brad, thank you. I hope that uh, you'll come to the National in Chicago this summer. I hope I can make it. I'm really, really hoping to. And I can maybe return the favor. Or if I do get some Vikings. He's a Vikings guy. If anybody has any Vikings they want to get rid of. All right, so Jason looks like he has some Bortles for me too. Ah, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Jason at JasonW757. Thanks, bro. Use of blue tape, which does not leave sticky residue. Much appreciated. And we've got... Oh, nice. This is from Rookies and Stars by Panini. And I think that... I'm not sure if that's parallel or not. Um, they did a thing where there's like one where his mouth is slightly open and then one where his mouth is slightly open with his tongue or slightly closed or something. And that's the parallel, but that's a cool card. Ooh, and this one I didn't know that I don't have for certain. This is a Flare Showcase from Upper Deck. I was a big fan of Flare back in the day. I could never afford them. But, uh, yeah, now that they're Upper Deck and their college uniforms. Yeah. But nice PC card. And then Upper Deck Star Rookies as well. Awesome. Thanks, Jason. Hope you had a Merry Christmas, too. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know what you collect. If anybody out there has some and they're looking to pass them on to a good guy, I highly recommend Jason. This is actually the second time he sent me a care package. I've not been able to reciprocate because I've been too, too swamped. But, Jason, you're a good guy. And I appreciate it very much. And I know you don't do it to get a care package in return, but I'm going to check out and see what I got from your PCs. Now we've got this Happy Holidays from Hook'em Mike, who actually, well, okay, so he wrote Hook'em Mike on a Texas Longhorns thing there. I was going to say he printed his own back label. That'd be kind of cool. That's not a bad idea, actually. Maybe I should do that for my seven things a year that I ship or so. So. All right. This one is thick, too. Thick and unexpected. So let's see. What Mike did. It's C4! No, just kidding. Oh, I wrote a really nice note here. Support and generosity. Thank you, man. Mm -hmm. Talks about how Twitter and YouTube have really helped uh, grow his love of the hobby. Meeting friends on there, and I got to agree. That's one of the things that just amazes me the most. It's two days away from uh, New Year's, tomorrow's New Year's Eve, or technically New Year's Eve is in 21 minutes my time, and meeting so many collectors in the hobby this year has just been life-changing for me. Uh, for some reason, I've always lived in places where there weren't a lot of collectors, you know, like people close to me, you know, as a kid, you hang out with people in your neighborhood, and nobody's ever cared as much about collecting as I have. 
So meeting all of you on Twitter and through YouTube and the show has really been, uh, I know it sounds kind of weird, but I feel like I've got more more better friends in my life now than I ever have in any other home. So I echo what, what Mike says here, um, which is, you know, thank you to the Collect community, Collect fam as I like to hashtag, um, really do make the whole hobby enjoyable and life better, I think. That's why we collect, right? Find a good home in your collection. Happy holidays from Mike. That's really cool. And he did go ahead and he has a little standardized print on the back, so I don't know if anybody else got a package from him, but that's really sweet. Happy to share this wonderful hobby with you. Look forward to more, more importantly, our friendship for many years. Well, oh, Mike. God bless you, brother. And now let's see what's in the C4. Oh, it's a big old bundle of cards. The Happy Holidays Mike 2014 bundle. Oh, some bubbly wrap. Oh, looks like we got some Cubs. Oh, boy. All right. Cubs are always fun. First off, we've got a Mike card. Ooh, oh, there's something really pretty at the bottom of this pile, but I'm going to wait for that. There's something really cool in here. So this one, uh, Upper Deck apparently, this was in one of the years when I wasn't really collecting, so that's a cool card, and I still love Sammy Sosa, I don't care what y'all say. So it's like a newspaper article about Sammy Sosa. It also advertises, look for e-cards coming up in 2001 packs, um, go to UpperDeckDigital.com to digitize your card. That's a fad that seems to have not been quite as popular, but that is a really cool, really cool upper deck card. Thank you, Mike. I know there's there's a whole stack of them. This video is going to be like 20 minutes. Classic Andre Dawson 89, Don Russ. Who was Don Russ, anyways? Tops Noteworthy from Tops 50 Years, Ernie Banks. So 50 years, that would be 2001? 2001. Awesome. Ooh, we got a purple uh, Bowman Dwayne Underwood. That's from a retail. I had a little three-card uh, three purple pack in there. So we'll see if he can be one of the... We need some pitching. I know we got Lester, but we need some pitching. Um, so if the, he can make it up. Aramis Ramirez, infield power from Upper Deck. A little shiny Chicago Cubs logo on there. Oh, I hate exclusive licenses. I'm sorry, Tops. I'm sorry, people that work there, because I know you work really hard. But man, I feel like the hobby would be so much better without exclusive licenses. Oh, just look at this rookie card of Kusuke Fukudome, who I still like as well, even though a lot of Cubs people are like, oh, burnout, his old injuries. Um, there was a time when that card would have been really hot, though. Ah, another one that I like. Oh, and it's a, it's a parallel green border out of 199, Trevor Gretzky, who's no longer a Cub. He's now with the Angels. But I've actually had the distinct pleasure of hanging out with him on one occasion. Very great guy, very nice guy, and couldn't be happier for him. I was really excited when he was a Cub. Now we'll see. Uh, you know, I'm happy for him with the Angels, too. I'm not opposed to the Angels since they're American League. But that one's definitely getting a sleeve. Oh, and then we got a Starlin Castro Chrome Orange. I wonder what that's numbered out of, or if it is. Orange Refractor, or is that just... Could just be the year again. This was the dark years for me, 2011. That's right when I was getting back into collecting, but mainly, mainly in football. Um, but yeah, that's a cool card. Oh man, Mike, this is this is awesome, absolutely awesome. Tops Museum Collection Canvas Collection reproduction of Lou Brock. Look at that beautiful card. Artwork inspired by the professional athletes of Major League Baseball. Mm. Sammy Sosa, Speed Merchants. That's a Skybox card. See why we need non-exclusive licenses? We need Skybox again in baseball. Two of ten. Oh, so that's an insert. Then we've got Hot Commodities from Clear Futures. Sammy Sosa. It's got some shininess on it. Ooh, there's a small card here that underneath it's coming out. 8 of 10. That's from the year 2004, I think it said. Little Leaf Draft Blake Bortles. I think I have the printing plate of this card. That's kind of cool. Then we've got a black-bordered Ernie Banks Gypsy Queen. 
from uh, what is that this year? So it's numbered at a 199, a black border. Look at that! Oh my god, my oh, this is awesome. Best Cub of all time, Chris Bryant, Bowman Platinum. <laughs> Tops Chrome, Blake Bortles rookie, which I actually don't have yet in my collection. And then here's that. Oh my god, this is really awesome. Oh, I had no idea it was that awesome. But the very last card, numbered out of 25, my man, Blake Bortles, patch card from Valor. So that's two patch cards from Valor in one day. That's so cool. Uh, especially because, again, not playing any sob stories because I was of my own free will, but I did leave my job uh, about two and a half months ago, so I haven't been able to buy a whole lot of new wax. Um, I left to be an entrepreneur myself, and I've got some good ventures going on, but nothing that's giving me the extra capital to buy excessive packs of cards. Happy Holidays 2014 from Hook'em Mike. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, man. That was one of the best Christmas gifts I got. That was really, really fantastic. Um, and the best part is there were no Cubs that I hate, like Bob Dernier or Rick Rona or any of those annoying guys. Um, though it's actually kind of funny when I do get care packages from friends that have those because it's like, it's just fun, you know, when you get those guys that are on your team but you just can't stand. That said, if anyone ever sends me a Darwin Barney card, I'm blocked. So, anyways, now we got the final one, the Super Mom Secret Santa. I was, I got this a couple weeks before. I didn't actually, the other ones were in my box and I hadn't even checked my box because I hadn't bought anything. But this came uh, to my personal address and um, Tim uh, said, he was like, oh, you're going to open it. And I was like, you know, again, with the whole unemployment thing, there haven't been a whole lot of presents this year under the tree. You know, me and the fiance were playing it kind of cool that, that way. So I was like, oh, can I open it on Christmas? So I put it on my tree. Christmas came. I forgot that it was sitting on my tree. So I feel bad. Haven't opened this one. Uh, really, really late, but a late Christmas gift that I'm super excited for. So thank you. Um, I hope that Phil Shuglow enjoyed my uh, secret Super Mom Secret Santa gift to him. Um, uh, also, a little shout out to uh, David Pelagi who uh, helped me find that for Phil because uh, I was having trouble with searching uh, and it looked like it ended up being the perfect thing. I was like, oh my god, because I don't really use check out my cards. Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, but yeah, so we found it on there. That was, you know, made all the difference. Yes, I'm drinking coffee at 1140 at night too. That's why I'm talking so much. Nebraska. It's from the 1902 uh, Atlas. Alright, Ivan, Merry Christmas. Shopping for you was a ton of fun. Oh man, thanks Tim. If you enjoy these new pieces for your collection, may God continue to show you favor as he daily poses his grace, pours his grace, love, and mercy over you. God bless you. Tim Rogers at 6000 FTW. P.S. YouTube yourself opening if you can. Hey, I did. Awesome. Thank you, brother. God bless you as well. Hope that you had a Merry Christ Mass and um, hope that this new year is full of blessings too. So, this one is wrapped in green. It actually did some, some paper wrapping on here, so it's got a Christmassy present feel to it. And here we go. Here we go. Oh! Somebody went all out. I hope that this was because the markets dropped on him a bit too. So I, this 20 bucks was supposed to be the limit. But look at that. Road to the NFL Panini Prestige 2014 Blake Bortles Signature. That is awesome. Um, and oddly enough, even though I have almost every one of his cards, I don't think I have this one. Um, I'll have to double check, but I think that this is a new, I think I have the vertical one, but not the horizontal one. So thank you very much, brother. And again, the blue tape so that you can just go boom and boom and have no residue. See, look at that. Residue free. Which, oddly enough, here I am preaching it. I don't own any blue tape. So, something that I need to change. Collect fail. Hashtag that. Alright. Now, this one, this one's a little thicker. I'm excited to see if it's, maybe it's two cards or maybe it's one thick card. Slightly thicker card. 
Oh, man. Another numbered out of 25 patch. Oh, that's really cool, too. I haven't even seen this card before. I'm not even going to show you. I'm just going to look at it myself. Actually, Bortle's head is so high that the tape is blocking his head, so I'm going to give you the purple picture here. So this is from Limited. So again, a newer product, one that I haven't been able to get into as much, but it's a uh, two-patch with three different colors, and again, that wonderful Jaguar's greenish, bluish ocean look that I love. Uh, numbered 13 out of 25 from Panini Limited. So... That is, that's perfect. That's the absolute perfect Christmas gift. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. God bless you. Um, thanks to the Super Mom Secret Santa team for putting it on. That was a really fun, fun thing, and I hope that lots of other people were blessed in the same way by that. So, well, cool. Thanks for watching me open my mail day. I know it's maybe not as exciting as uh, you know, opening a box or something and finding big giant hits, but this is, uh, for me, this is what collecting is about, having friends. Having you know, Cubs cards, Cubs commons or inserts or parallels that are fun. Um, that's the love and the joy of the hobby. So hope that everyone out there had a Merry Christmas. Hope that you have a Happy New Year. And uh, hope you keep enjoying the breaks. Uh, check us out here on YouTube. Check us out on Twitter at Watch the Breaks. Uh, and we'll be doing tons more giveaways this year, too. Um, you know, the goal is to finish the season before the end of the year. We finished shooting the season, but uh, had a few post production delays. So hopefully, we're going to be able to get the episodes out sort of one on top of the other coming on here now, though, because um, I'm pretty sure episode seven is like this far from being done. This far, which I, uh, I'm really bad at winking. Um, and then episode 8 will be a few weeks after that, episode 9 should be a few weeks after that, and then the finale episode 10, uh, so we're looking at maybe February, maybe my birthday, we'll see. Alright, so anyways, Merry Christmas, thanks again to Brad, Caleb for transitioning that whole thing, uh, Jason, awesome present, uh, hook a mic, loved it, uh, and then my secret Santa, super mom secret Santa. Uh, Tim Rogers at, F at 6,000 FTW. Sorry, I always get that switched around. Um, you guys really just totally blessed me. It's a heap of blessings. So thank you so much. All right. Uh, I'm going to click this button now. 17 minutes. Not bad. Fun time.